of your wardrobe. Another thing, some new technology that has come out is Wonderful Edge, which is a silicone edge application at the bottom of a garment. And what that's going to do is make it where it goes straight from the fabric to your skin. Because traditional panties are sewn with elastic, traditional shapewear are sewn with elastic all the way around. So with this Wonderful Edge, some people call it uh, Vanishing Edge, what that'll do for you is just make a very smooth transition. Um, muffin top, once again, that adjustable rise garment or adjustable waist garment or a high waist garment. Uh, if your garments roll down, make sure your garment is adjusted properly. A lot of times people will, won't get the most out of their shapewear, so let's say if they're wearing a high waist brief, they're going to pull it up to maybe the middle middle of their waist, try to get it all the way up to your bra line, and that should probably, that can help lock it there so it's less apt to roll down. Or if your garments just are always rolling, 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 a lot of times that can be a sign that your garment is too small and you might want to go up a size. Okay, if you have a long or short torso, a fantastic solution for that is to purchase separates. Don't force yourself into a body brief or don't force yourself into something that where you're on the last hook and you kind of have to walk hunched over. Go ahead and buy, buy, buy like a long leg and buy a cami and you have your own custom uh, full length wardrobe. Uh, same thing if you're short, just tuck your little cami in there and pull your garment on top. Um, a lot of people say garments are hot. I know my mother's girl, the time I wore for prom was just but the difference is now a lot of them are made single ply with better quality fabrics, higher stretch spandex, and some of them are sheer. So if comfort, if uh, heat is something that really bothers you, maybe look for a sheer option or a single ply option. Okay, panties. Okay, so there's lots of styles and options. People are most comfortable in the panty in the panty realm because we see them, we wear them all the time. So we go. Briefs pretty traditional, high cuts pretty traditional, boy shorts, I'm sure the younger girls are very familiar with boy shorts, but maybe some folks who have not been shaping in the intimate apparel department are not familiar with boy shorts. And so what those are is just a more traditional conservative leg in the front. So if you think of maybe an old traditional brief, how it used to come down much further than a brief now does, that's the look you're going to get with a boy short. Now they can tend to have all rises. That particular one has a very low rise. You can get them where they go to the waistline. So if you were a lover of traditional conservative briefs 15 years ago, or if you have to buy them online because nobody sells them anymore, try boy short. You might like that conservative leg. Um, hipsters, very, very popular. Um, off to lower rise, they're kind of like a version of a low-rise brief is probably the best way to describe them. And then cheeky options. Everything is very butt-cheek driven. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. It's very in. So a cheeky hipster is just going to have a less coverage in the back. Okay, itsy bitsy panties. Bikinis. Bikinis have been around forever. String bikinis have been around for quite a while. The only difference is between those two is that the string bikini actually goes down to it goes down to the elastic. Now tangas, this is a pretty new style. It's kind of a hybrid between a hipster and a thong. So once again getting very cheeky looks. Now if you have nice cheeks, this is a incredibly flattering feature. And so so think about it. Don't be afraid to try something new. Um, then thongs which you we've had and G-strings, which is a more uh, modestly cut, or I'm sorry, a, a, a skimpier cut than a thong. And traditionally, so our thong is going to have maybe an inch worth of fabric. That's going to go down to maybe a half inch, maybe three-eighths inch, maybe a quarter inch. So, okay. <laughs> so, this, this is important. So this is important, especially in the sorority world. How many events do we have where you need to wear all black or all white and so picking the right intimate apparel for those occasions can be pretty tricky so if you wear white or nude like our all white attire right here perfect example of why you don't want to wear white on white so this is kind of a myth that has now been debunked 
mothers used to say, sensible white cotton panties, white, 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 white bra, white panty. We have some brands that we sell to that don't even want to see white garments, which is, you know, it, it's really, had, there's really been an evolution. So what you want to do is wear the closest color to your flesh tone that you can. So your choice under a white garment, white pants, or a white top should be a nude bra, nude panty, something that's going to match your flesh tone. Something fantastic about the internet is that there are several companies who are specializing in different flesh tone fabrics. So if people are of different ethnicities and the nude that is sold in department stores doesn't match them, suggest that they go online and try to find something that matches their skin tone if they're interested. So here's an example of white on nude. And also black, little peekaboo panty down there. Black, your best choice is to wear a black bra, black panties, black shape, where that way it just looks like it was part of your outfit and it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. Okay, so <laughs> examples of panty fit problems. Muffin top, droopy drawers. If your panties are doing this, this is not the way your panties should be fitting. Okay, this is a whale tail. Can <laughs> see it? Yes. Fantastic. Okay, wedgies. Visible panty lines, love that picture. Couldn't find a better panty line picture anywhere. And so all of these solutions, which are very common to panty problems, have been solved with new technology. So on these you can have, as I was talking about, that wonderful edge, vanishing edge. They have silicone edge on the edge of the garments that replace the elastic. So what that means is, you're not going to have write up because that silicone is going to hold your panty right next to your body. It was designed with several ribs so it stretches and expands with you so you can move. It's not going to slip up, it's not going to write up, and it's breathable because it has all the extra silicone lines in there. In addition, that was also going to give you a nice smooth panty line because there's no elastic transition. Oh, I have samples of these, silly me. So here's an example of what I was talking about. So you have a traditional sewn leg, and here's the silicone in the back. So it has the extra ribs in there. It stretches, it breathes. And then you wash it differently? No. No? No. So I'll start these over here. Um, other inventions are um, Welded seam and flat seam technology, as I was telling you about, people don't want to see the seams anymore, but they still want all the advantages a seam garment gives to them. So this is an example of shapewear with a welded seam. So, in the front, if you were wearing it, it just looks completely flat. So what this is, is it's cut with ultrasonic technology, which means that sound waves go and heat up a pinpoint, and when you cut it, it melts the garment together. And so the result is that the fabric has been bonded and then you tape on the back to make sure that there's still strength. And so you really get a seamless look with all the advantages of sewn seams. You can see that in shapewear, you can, they're starting to do it in bras and in panties. Um, adhesives being used instead of elastics. Um, so on the top of this is elastic, traditionally elastic would be sewn with a needle and thread, but what this has is adhesives at the top of it, so that, um, and also on the leg, so you don't have the resulting bulky stitches and you don't have the resulting elastic. 